So today we're going to be doing a unit review on Cato Pesra. Cato Pesra. I, I man, I do not remember how to say this guy's name. I hope I said it correctly. Um, this guy comes out April first of twenty twenty four. It's an April Fool's Day unit. <laughs> Wait, was he on Dokkan Fest Topo's banner? Was he? Let me just quickly double check. I don't remember. Was he? Let me get Topo. He's right over here. He... He was? Because he comes out April 1st of 2024. Was he on Topo's banner? I don't quite remember. Yeah. I don't remember. No, no. It was... Hold on. Let me get... It wasn't you, right? Was it you? I'm, I'm probably mixing up the dates. It wasn't you. Yeah. Because don't you come out for tech, um, for, for Tanabata, for um, LR Tech UI? Okay. So, uh, this guy comes out <laughs> April Fool's Day of 2024. Um, was it Topo's banner? I don't quite remember. Uh, okay. So, what this guy's doing. His leader skill is Defenders of Justice 3 key and 130% across the board. And his 12 key, that being the Cato Pesra, I hope I said that correctly, the final mission. He gains 30% attack and 50% defense for one turn, as well as uh, sealing the enemy's uh, attack. Well, sealing the enemy's super attack, or just sealing in general. And his passive, that being True Power of the Robot Suit. He gets 3 key and 300% attack and defense at the start of turn. Nice. And he changes STR key spheres to AGL at the start of turn. And he gets an additional 30% defense per AGL key sphere obtained up to 300%. And he launches two additional attacks that both have a 50% chance to come a super attack, as well as having a 50% chance to dodge from the first, third, fifth, seventh, and ninth turns from character's entry turn. Okay. And I don't. Well, I do remember this part of his kit, but I don't remember him having this dodge with this additional super attack chance. I don't remember that. I do remember his design being pretty interesting, though. This is definitely uh, something I haven't seen in the card before, where that he has different types of buffs, depending on which type of turn you're on, that being an odd number turn or an even number turn. And uh, for the other side of his card, for his uh, for him being on the 2nd, 4th, 6th, 8th, and 10th turn of the entry uh, from his... Well, I don't even... His card's weird, okay? <laughs> he changes AGL key spheres to STR at the start of turn, and he gets 30% attack per STR key sphere obtained up to 300%. And he has a 70% chance of launching an additional super attack with a 70% chance to crit with him being on the 2nd, 4th, 6th, 8th, or 10th turns from this character's entry turn. And he gets additional 33% attack and defense when performing a super attack. Nice. It's better than nothing, to be honest. And he changes AGL and STR key spheres to tech. And he gets 30% attack and defense per tech key sphere obtained up to 300%. Start from the 7th turn from the start of battle. So when he does get to that 7th turn, he becomes a double orb changer. To specifically that being tech, that being his typing. As well as him getting 30% attack and defense per key sphere obtained up to 300%. Um, so, okay, we'll, we'll talk about him in just a second. So, his link set is Speedy Retribution, Shocking Speed, Hero of Justice, Signature Pose, Terminal of Power... And furious battle and his categories are universal survival saga transformation boost special pose defenders of justice accelerated battle and tournament parts of defense and i forgot to pull up his actual page so i did it real quickly before i started recording um uh he's on how many 200 percent he's on five 200 percent leader skills you're more than likely going to be using them on the first three rather than the last um two because i mean gamma twos 200 percent you're not doing that um, Kales, you're absolutely not doing that either. You're either going to be using them on Tobos, Tech UIs, or AGL RGNRs. Like these three, easy. And his best single partner would have to be pretty much STR Dispo or AGL Dispo. You're more than likely going to use them right next to the STR Dispo. Most likely because this guy is just far superior to the, this old ass EZA uh, AGL Dispo. I mean, come on now. Or Topo. Topo or str dispo if you want to use them right next to str dispo it makes sense because you do want to get that extra link off um what link are they missing together okay so turn to power uh signature pose hero of justice and shocking speed and fierce battle so they have speedy retribution together yeah and what's speedy retribution 15 percent attack and a five percent additional chance to dodge i mean 
the additional 5% chance the dodge could come in clutch. I mean, it, it, hey. <laughs> additional dodge chance is something. People love dodge. I mean, makes sense, though. And uh, and uh, for the total of uh, stats to get from each other's links, 8 key, 74% attack, 12% defense, a 5% chance of crit, and dodge. And then, I mean, I'm not going to lie, you could. Could you do it with Topo? You're more than likely, if you really want to, well, yeah, you more than likely would do it here because that additional 5% chance of dodge. I mean, is that a make or break? Let's be honest, because on odd number turns, this guy gets a 50% chance to dodge. Yeah, because he's going to be, uh, it's, this is only defensive ability, right? Is that 50% chance to dodge on those odd number turns? So yeah, this card is like a, it's, just, it's like a turn switch where on odd number turns, this card is a orb changer. He gets defense per key to obtain up to a certain amount with an additional super attack chance as well as a 50% chance to dodge. And on even number turns, he's still a orb changer. He also gets 30% attack per key to obtain up to a certain amount as well as additional super attack chance as well as a 70% chance to crit. He's definitely going to be better on the odd number turns for sure. Mostly because they have 50% chance to dodge. Of course. Him not having a defensive ability to fall back on for his even number turns is just not great absolutely not great now granted it is nice that he does have a, a solid super attack effect of him getting 30 percent attack and 50 percent defense one turn as well as sealing granted you could seal the boss but yeah he's just easily better on his on number turns because he's getting defense per keyser obtained up to a certain amount he's also getting two additional super attack chances as well as a 50 percent chance to dodge you can't beat that um so what is the problem with this card probably Probably is it is it this guy's stats? I feel like is it is his stats? It might be his stats. Just might be. And and his orb changing could be inconsistent. Because what if you just don't get any STR orb to change to AGL? Then he's just cooked. Yeah. Like if he if he's not able to change these orbs, he's cooked. Low stat well. Yeah, it's definitely the orb changing. Definitely orb changing. And not enough stats, right? I mean, although he's getting 300% attack and defense at the start of turn, and he can get up to 300% defense with uh, per AGL keys are obtained, um, if he doesn't change orbs, it, it could hurt him. It could. I mean, but he could double super on his odd turns. I mean, he's going to be doing his... Ah, yeah, definitely. He's... Hmm. He's better on his odd number turns. But his orb changing could be a little inconsistent. Why didn't they just do STR to Rainbow? And let him just get 30% defense per key to obtain. I mean, I get the idea. This is cool. This is a cool card concept, for sure. Like, card concept. This is a cool uh, idea for a card that Dokkan went with. This is cool. I'm not going to lie. Where he has uh, different types of, uh, like, things that he can do on a, a specific turn. Like, on odd number of turns, he gets defense per key to obtain, as well as additional super attack chance, as well as a 50% chance to dodge. And then on uh, even number of turns, he gets attack per key to obtain. A 70% chance of doing additional super as well as a 70% chance to crit. I feel like if they swapped this 70% chance to crit for a 70% chance to dodge, he'd just be so much better. For sure. Because that way he'd have a defensive ability to fall back on when he's on those odd... No, not those odd numbers. On those even number turns. Yeah. And seven turns? Happy to get the seven turns over here. Yeah. So, of course, what is good about him is uh, the fact that on this... Odd number of turns, he's definitely going to be looking the best. Um, he also gets an attack and defensive buff from his passive to a super attack. Like, starts out with a moderately high attack and defensive buff, but even if then, his stats are a bit low. Um, he also can look pretty impressive seventh turn. On the seventh turn, he could. He does get to double orb change to his tech key spheres, where he's able to get 30% attack defense up to 300%. Uh, from the seventh turn onward um this card's weird a little bit of an an anomaly for sure a bit of an anomaly um link set is a little i mean it's universal survival saga base but i mean it's could you run with her topo or dispo yeah it would just have to be between these guys right yeah that's about it with this guy i don't even have much more to say about this guy he's just he's just an interesting like I don't know. I don't know. I've used him a bit, and I will say that on his even number turns, he he can get touched. He could he could get, definitely get touched. But that's granted. I have him at fifty five percent. But I mean, that's okay. That's neither here or there. I mean, that makes sense because he's at fifty five percent. He's gonna get 
squash regardless, right? Because look at his stats at 55%, brother. <laughs> of course, using him on a 200%. That's about it. That's all for uh, Cato Pesra. I think that's how you say his name. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I absolutely love you all. Peace.